My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist and I'm about to do a little painting here for you guys. This is a painting I did earlier. Check, 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 check it out. Little bunny. Look at that. Let's do a close up. Let's do a close up. Boom. There we go. So, again, guys, my name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And uh, welcome to one of my little lives here. A lot of people have been asking me about how. Um, How I can always draw different things, different subject matter as an artist, right? People continue to ask me that every day. I get dozens, probably dozens of messages, emails. Hey, how do you how do you stay so inspired? How do you stay so so motivated with with not just motivated, but how, how do you where do you get your 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 drawings, your 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 reference photos and, and on and on and on and on? And one of the things that I I'm always talking about is look you have to create a library of stuff right you have to create a library of references and 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 drawings and one of the one of the biggest challenges for an artist is to make sure that you make something yours right you make it original even if you're looking at a, at a photograph or whatever you have to make it original right for many purposes um and it's a big challenge and many artists many artists miss that and so they're afraid, and then therefore they don't have, they don't have um, references. They don't have reference material, right? They don't have reference material, and and that could be challenging. That could be challenging if you're an artist and you're like, man, I want to paint, but you don't have any reference material. It's definitely uh, definitely a challenge. So what I encourage artists to do is look every chance you get, every every drawing you make, file it away. File it, you know, put it away. Um, every thing that you like, you saw online or whatever, put it away. The challenge will be to make it your own, right? Because of of rights and whatnot. The challenge is to make it your own. And so so that takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of practice to learn how to see something. You see a photograph somewhere on Google and, and you have to make it your own. You can't you can't copy it by verbatim, right? You have to make it your own. You have to switch it out and, and, and play with it until it becomes yours. Until it becomes yours. That's what all artists have to learn how to do. Right? Not everybody has uh, models all their time. Or not everybody takes all their photos in order to make paintings. Uh, it might be easy for someone who's, who just has... Who their, 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 their uh, subject matter might be just landscapes. Or, or just you know a very simple subject matter. Or not simple, but... Just one, one, one type of subject matter, right? I just paint landscapes, so I just go out into the landscapes and I take my own photographs, and that's all you paint. But yeah, but what if what if you paint nudes? What if you paint birds? What if you paint lions? What if you paint all of that? Are you gonna go to the zoo? Are you gonna go to to somewhere in Africa and take a picture of a lion? Like, of course not, right? So you have to be very creative as an artist. All artists know this. You have to be very creative and and how to how to rearrange something and make it yours. How to switch it out how to change it up completely so that so that it becomes a whole new painting and so many artists have a problem with that they have a they have a, a challenge with that so i encourage artists look i know it's difficult but that's that's just the way it is i've painted for many years and i've accumulated thousands of drawings that i've done myself right thousands of sketches uh little studies little sketches and uh, here's the cool thing, though. Okay, these these are my my personal sketches. These are my personal drawings. These are these are from my from my personal sketchbook. I've now made them available to artists. Okay, so so now you can go through my through my sketchbook and pick and choose what you want to draw. And and the cool thing is that I, you can actually create make your own creations and sell them, sell them. You know, 
you want to exhibit them, sell them, use them for whatever, you can make your own creations out of my own sketches. Okay, out of my own sketches. Uh, they're not free. Okay, they're not free. They are for sale. But uh, it's a great price. You know, it's... I think it's the best price. No artist would let you use their sketchbook. Right? I have thousands of sketches. I literally have thousands and I keep adding more and more. And... Uh, and I made them available. So I separated them into groups of 50. So you can get 50 landscapes or 50... Um, figurative works, 50 birds, right? 50, 50 uh, sketches, drawings, pen and ink, drawings of birds, um, seascapes, you know, you name it, everything. Right? I'm, I'm a full time professional artist and I have lots and lots and lots of reference material and now you can use it. It's available, it's available for you. If you haven't started your own library, this is, this, is, this is the secret of every artist. Having a library of sketch, of, of sketchbook or a library of, of reference images. This is the secret of every, you know, real deal working artist. It's the secret. Okay, even those who paint plain air, who paint outside, it doesn't matter. At some point, they have to have a library of, of images. At some point, at one point or another, they have to have a library of images. This is oil. This is not acrylic. Um, this is the secret of every working artist. Okay? The thing is that it takes years to make that. Okay? That's the thing. It takes years to, to, to put that library together. And so I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not saying don't do it. Go do it. But it's just going gonna, gonna to take it. I mean, it's going to take time. It takes years to, to build a, a, a reference uh, photo or reference sketch library in order for you to always have ideas, in order, in order for you to always have references from which you can just pull and start drawing and start painting like I'm doing right now. You know? It takes years for you to do that. And so, so if you don't want to wait years or months or whatever in order to put your own library and you are a loose painter, these are, this is for loose painters, okay? This is for artists who want to paint like I'm doing right now or who paint in, a, in, a, in, a, in, in some way similar to this, okay? If you paint photorealistic, my sketches are not going to help you. My sketches are loose. They're for loose painters. They're for impressionistic, expressionist type of painters. Uh, you can use you can use my sketches for my my reference sketches for watercolors, acrylics, oils, whatever you know, uh, ink, ink paintings, ink drawings, uh, anything, right? Anything, any any of the mediums, of course. And the cool thing about them too is that you can you can. Uh, you can go in and, and exhibit them and sell them. I mean, you, 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 I'm allowing you to use the image, not, 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 not for reproduction of the image, you know, like some, um, what do they call it? Not for you to go and reproduce the, the like go print out the sketches and, and, and go try to sell them yourself, but to paint it, to paint it, right? To paint it and, and, then, uh, and, and then it's yours. It's yours. Whatever you paint from those sketches, it's yours. No artist does this, guys. I promise you. No artist will be doing any of this. Artists don't do that. Go, loser. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> no artist does that, guys. I am probably the only artist. I, I say probably because I don't know for sure. But I am very positive that I am probably the only artist doing this. And it's because I want to help other artists. That's why. All right. So let me know if you want my sketches, if you want my reference sketches, and uh, and I'll send you the link to them. Uh, let me know if you want birds, if you want uh, landscapes.
Yeah, the ske- thank you, Richard. The sketches have composition in them already, so you don't have to even worry about composition. Uh, Richard, Richard owns some of my sketches as well. So the sketches have composition. I have landscapes. I have seascapes. I have birds. I have steel lives, figurative work, angels, all sorts of different uh, reference material for you to start making your own paintings. And you don't have to wait till you're ready to till you have uh, reference photos. You can start using my references. All right. So there it is, guys. Again, thank you so much. My name is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you so much, Richard. Richard says they, the, the sketches, they help for sure. Thank you. I really appreciate that. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon.